Section 333 of Title 18 of the US Code states that it is illegal to mutilate, deface or render unfit to be reissued a United States banknote. In other words, it's highly illegal to burn one. But luckily for me, these aren't real US dollars and in fact, these banknotes are printed with the express intention of being burnt. So what exactly are they and why? Well, there's something rather ominously called hell money, and in this video we're going to take a closer look at some examples before promptly setting fire to the whole lot. If you enjoy it, please consider subscribing. So in short, these banknotes are part of a traditional Chinese ceremony in which paper objects are burnt, as offerings to either their ancestors, or as a tribute to the Emperor of the Underworld in the name of their ancestors. The hell part is a slightly ill-fitting translation, you see, Chinese hell is pretty far from the Christian version of hell, with all the flames and eternal suffering, rather just a catch-all name for the afterlife. Everyone who dies enters the underworld, or Diu, to be judged by Yin Luo Wang, ruler of the dead. From here, you're either sent straight to heaven, reincarnated, or punished in the underworld until your sins are burnt off or debts absolved, and you can be reborn on a higher plane. So where does the money fit in? Well, there are two purposes. Firstly, the money can be used to essentially bribe Yin Luo Wang, burnt as an offering to him, in order to lessen or even altogether escape the deceased punishment. This idea is seen in countless other cultures too, such as ancient Greece, where the dead often had a coin placed in or on their mouth in order to bribe Charon, the ferryman, for safe passage across a river that separates the world of the living from the dead. But then it can also be burnt as an offering directly to your ancestors, as a form of ancestor worship, to ensure their financial security in the afterlife. Other paper representations of real objects are burnt too, such as paper cars, jewellery or even luxury houses. So what about the bills from a design perspective? Well, they don't have any security features like UV ink or microprint or anything, as obviously they're printed en masse simply to be burnt, but they're fascinating nonetheless. The notes are mostly printed on rice paper, although traditionally bamboo paper was used, and usually featured the Jade Emperor, the monarch of heaven in Taoism. Most notes explicitly say on them Hell Money or Bank of Hell, although in recent years, in acknowledgement of the ill-fitting translation, many banknotes have started reading Bank of Universal, Bank of Heaven, or Bank of Paradise instead. The notes also seem to be quite colourful and flashy, with some designs even printed in holographic foil or significantly larger than others. And then the part that's probably the first thing you noticed? It appears even the afterlife isn't immune to hyperinflation. With no one apparently regulating the bank of hell and anyone free to print money, the number of zeros just kept increasing. And well, why wouldn't you want to give your ancestor 10 quadrillion? And that's just one note. This bundle is therefore worth 1 quintillion, and these bundles are combined 15 quintillion. How crazy is that? Some notes have taken on some less traditional forms in recent years too, printed to resemble other currencies, such as US dollars, pound sterling or euros. There are slightly weird mismatch of features. For instance, this note says $50 but features Benjamin Franklin, normally seen on the $100 bill, and the reverse displays both $50 and $10. Now the notes are traditionally burnt at specific times or occasions, such as at funerals and in the following weeks, Qin Ming or Tomb Sweeping Day, or during the festival of the Hungry Ghost. But don't worry, in burning these notes now for demonstration purposes, I'm not being offensive or disrespectful, nor am I bringing bad luck upon myself or anything like that. Rather, it's just a bit pointless. However, it would be offensive if I were to gift these notes to someone else, as I'd be essentially wishing death upon them, which is why there's no giveaway in this video. But hopefully this has been an insightful glimpse into another culture, and how banknotes can be used in a unique and unusual way.